called dessert for dinner. We're here at Voodoo Donuts trying the very special Jack Donut. I don't think that's Jack Skellington, a different Halloween Jack, and a very special pumpkin. David and I have heard nothing but amazing things about these donuts. We're gonna try them with you. Starting off with the pumpkin one first. Bon appetit. Sweetness overload. Really good flavor to it. I love it. Gotta tell you, the pumpkin flavor is absolutely delicious. The in inside's got like the super pumpkin custard is what I'm gonna call it. Not quite as spicy as pumpkin spice, not quite as sweet. Nah, maybe it is as sweet. It's like pumpkin pie filling. That's where I'd put it. Delicious in terms of other voodoo donuts that we've had here at Universal. I'm gonna put this one right underneath the very special voodoo doll, which you know we're a huge fan of. So this is like second place. Almost. Now for the very special Halloween Horror Nights Jack Donut, not Jack Skellington. Definitely doesn't look like him. Kinda looks like the It Clown. I'm not familiar with that series, but Jack Donut, Voodoo Donuts. Very strong vanilla flavor to that frosting. Strawberry is a little bit muted. It's just a tiny bit on the muted side, in my opinion. Between the two, pumpkin wins hands down, in my opinion, just the flavor. So good, flavor profile. Take a look, this is definitely the closest we've ever been to the Goodyear Blimp, right there. I'm gonna try and make it clear for you. It's a little overshot there. There it is, Goodyear Blimp right over City Walk. It's super, super clear right there. After some great donuts, and they really were great, we're gonna sit back, relax for a while, but believe it or not, we've got reservations at Cowfish. We have heard the recommendations. We've been told by friends and by you, and you said, Michael, David, Cowfish, give it another try. Go back, try some real sushi, not some like mixed fusion sushi, real sushi. So that is the plan for tonight. We're gonna see if it competes with some of our favorites. I'm a big fan of some of the very unique merchandise that you can find here at Universal. You can see the uh, Captain America, you see Thanos, Venom, Spider-Man. You know, I know Disney owns them, but it's cool to see that kind of Universal can share in that too. The legality of the ownership of Marvel is extremely complicated, but Marvel can kind of showcase some of the products. They've got certain lands that are themed for Marvel, even though Disney technically owns it. We'll see if that changes in the future. I kind of hope that it does. You know, more improvements for everybody. I, I'm be all about it. That is an extremely long line for Countfish. Luckily, we did call ahead, so we've got reservations, but I'm pretty sure you have to stand in that line to get seated. So we'll get some water and then we'll get seated. Something I find so interesting at Disney when you go to Starbucks and you want a cup of water, they give you either a big cup or one of those small cups. You can ask for venti water, no problem. Here at Universal, it's interesting, they have a different policy. They give you the smaller ones. You can have as many as you want, so it's no, it's no problem. It's just fascinating. Now, while we're waiting for a cowfish, I think it's a great time to check out this quiet flight surf shop, one that I've uh, seen quite a few times. Hi there. Of course, the first section that I go to is the camera section. They've got the GoPro Hero 7. GoPro Hero 8. No 9. I'm still thinking about ordering one. Thinking about it. I don't think I've ever been in a quiet flight surf shop before. I'm sure they have others all around the country, but just imagine awesome surf apparel and backpacks. Luggage. Tons of flip-flops. Lots and lots of sunglasses. I love that uh, sun bum monkey up there, Sam. Super cool. He's, like a, he's wearing those glasses up there. He's got the, uh, the lip moisturizers. He's all got tons of sunscreen, sun oil. Everything you need for surfing. They have the ad for the GoPro Hero 9 on that screen. We just realized as we were walking out. So, yeah, they, they're anticipating getting some, I'm sure. So cool to find all these little hidden details around City Walk. Look at the lights kind of beaming down. There's a little waterfall here. It's going to make its way up towards those pianos. I can actually hear the piano player playing up there. Maybe we'll see him uh, later or another day. You know what, I haven't gotten the text yet. Now it's good. I don't think I've ever been up here before. You can actually see the pianist right up here playing by Pat O'Brien's. Sounding really good too. It's not too crowded up here, surprisingly. Okay, so official verdict. Donuts for dinner. Bad idea. <laughs> My stomach's like, no, 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 Michael. You shouldn't have done that. That's all right. I'll have a little bit of room for sushi and I might take some to go. That's okay, no problem. Dave, I'm not alone there, right? Donuts, start off your evening? I, I'm not sure, the longer we sit out from dinner, I'm not sure that was a great idea. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Live and learn. Due to all the distancing that they have here at Cowfish, we're eating upstairs inside this restaurant for the very first time, second level of Cowfish. Technically, I guess it's the third level, right? 
second dining level. Got seated at Cowfish and love the fact that they provide these plastic bags for you to put your mask on or in. You've got paper menus and we've got our silverware. Ready to go. David and I are ready for sushi. We've got the flaming salmon roll, sounds amazing, and the tropical storm roll. Apparently those are the top two sushi rolls here at Cowfish. So once and for all, we're gonna find out if it does have the best sushi around, or at least amazing sushi. Let's find out. Our sushi has arrived, let me tell you, it looks phenomenal. We've got the flaming salmon roll with that spicy salmon and the special mayo and spice. Super excited about that. We also got the tropical storm roll with that kani and avocado and cucumber inside. Looks truly unbelievable. The only problem, which one to try first? We're trying the tropical salmon roll first, bon appetit. That tropical storm roll is delicious with that spicy mayo on there, the salmon avocado, it all tastes super, super good. The eel sauce, you can taste kind of stronger than most of the other flavors in that roll. It is a very good roll, I can tell you right off the bat. Next up, we're gonna try that flaming salmon roll. We were told this is the best sushi roll on the menu here at Cowfish. Bon appetit. So spicy. It's so spicy. <laughs> Super spicy. The flaming salmon roll is truly flaming. The jalapeno strings really stand out right away. You get a ton of spice really fast. The fried bits all around it do enhance the crunch quality to it, which I think is good. It's a good thing. I think the, uh, the tropical one is better. Not taken away from flaming salmon, but that tropical storm roll is really, really good. Delicious sushi. Now, the big question, is it the best sushi that I've ever had? No. Sushi Katana is the best in Orlando that I have tried so far. We'll try more, I have no doubt, but this is a contender. I would come back here for sushi. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm just saying that it's really, really good. Up there with Splitsville and many other sushi restaurants that we've tried in the area. Very, very good suggestion. Gotta tell you, I really enjoyed eating on the upper level here of Catfish. Really nice. There's definitely something to be said for City Walk at night. A lot of neon, a lot of lights. I really, really like that. In terms of cowfish, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Sushi was good. Not the best sushi we've ever had. By far, David and I both agree, Sushi Katana is the best in the area. But in terms of like local sushi, this area, it's pretty good. Now, not every store is open here at Universal City Walk. The uh, Red Coconut Club here is not open. It's closed as far as I can tell, but uh, most spots that we've seen are open. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.